management? Was it just more so of just getting active from your puck sponsor? management is a big part of it because if you don't have it, um, you can't spend time in the ozone. And that that was a big thing for us is is if you want to play ozone, you got to make sure the puck gets there. And we were not doing that. And and you know, I've said this before. It's that's a lot of our doing, but it's some of the Rangers doing too. Um, what they're doing against us. So. Um, but you gotta tuck pucks behind their D and and basically put the work boots on and go get it, and then you can start doing some of the things that you know we plan to do. But uh, you turn the puck over, it's a recipe for disaster. Heard a few guys say yesterday, you know, this is one game. You feel like there was still perspective that you know there's still work. You, you, Obviously, you made a big step yesterday by winning that game, but there's still a lot of work ahead here. Yeah, we have a team of perspective. I, I think that's why we've been good in the past about responding after losses and, and then continuing after that. Uh, by no means can we hang our hat because we scored a goal with 42 seconds left and, and won a hockey game that, um, oh, we're good. Uh, that game had overtime probably written all over it, and who knows what happens then. Uh, it, no different than the you know, winning game six in overtime against Toronto. You still have to go out and perform in game seven. Uh, we, we scored that last second goal against Florida to win a series. We still have to go out and perform, and it would be you know, amateur of us to think that because we snuck a game out at the end that, oh, we're, we're good. John, you go back to 12 and 6 last night. What did you like about how the team adjusted and how did you think Riley did last night? Uh, like that's what Riley's been prepping for that this whole playoffs. I, I think, I don't think anybody realizes how hard that is. I don't even know. His last hockey game, competitive hockey game was in April. And then to come in in the middle of June and have to be under that spotlight and perform and um, I know he he's, takes that goalie interference penalty, but he, you know, if that puck doesn't go in his feet, he probably doesn't. And now he's got to try and do all, navigate all these things, and he runs into the goalie. And I think he was sick as anybody, but it was like, hey, don't worry about it, kid. You put yourself in a great position to have a chance to score. It worked, didn't work out for us, um, but he did everything we asked, and and uh, that's what you need from guys to stay not only in game shape, but in mental shape. And uh, good on him. I mean, that's why you have pros like that around, to be able to do the, to have that job. And uh, it was great for us. John, why was last night the night to go back to 12 and 6? What went into that thought process? Well, there's a lot of things. One, we were 0 and 2 not doing it. Um, but throw the record aside, it, it was the matchups help. I uh, get to dictate the last change. Uh, I, for me, we've gone 11 and 7 a ton, and we've done it at home and on the road. But uh, I think, you know, when you get into the matchups, to have the 12 uh, at home kind of felt like a fit for us. And for one night, it worked. Left side, Mark. John, um, you mentioned last night that you guys had gotten away from, the, you used the word recipe a little bit. Um, I'm wondering at what point last night did you feel like that, you know, that recipe was back in play, so to speak, for what you wanted to do against the Rangers? Eight minutes left in the second period of game two. And what, without giving up any trade secrets, what were the, what were the things that showed you that? It was, to go back, it was puck management. And you don't get to execute anything you want to do unless you have the puck. And we didn't have the puck at all in a lot of the first game and the first half of the second game. But things started to click. We didn't pull that game out. Uh, we were close. Um, probably didn't deserve to win that game in the end. I think that the team, the right team has won all three games. Uh, but that's when things changed for us at that point in the game two. It's the uh, Braden Point status update and the possibility for game four. He's going for a twirl right now, um, but he's out for game four. Right side, Ed. John, Alex Lauren had a great, you know, regular season. You know, 
he hasn't scored yet this postseason. But you know, you look at last game. You know, like you mentioned, I think last night that line played really well. You know, he, he starts uh, gets a, a shorthanded, you know, breakaway. You know, how important is he to just kind of, you know, the, the formula that, that, that you guys have and how he's playing? So, <clears throat> I'll ask. Yeah. Do you, how do you think Anthony Sorelli's played? How many goals does he have? He's got one. It was a big one, short-handed. Oh, yeah. And how many? How do you think Clarence played? I know you're asking me that question. I think he's played fabulous. He does have a goal. It was just taken off the board. In yeah, ten. <laughs> yes, ten minutes later. <laughs> But it, you can't judge all these players on how many pucks they put in the net. It's hard enough because they judge themselves, but we don't judge them that way. It is, are they putting themselves in a position to help our team win? And yes, it's great to look on the score sheet and say, see your name. Um, but as our guys have been well aware of the last few years, it's way better to see lightning with the number that's more than the opponent. And I think that's a big reason why we've had success. And yes, do you want everybody to be able to score and put the numbers up? Of course they do. But at this time of year, uh, we don't judge our players on that. And I, I think, you know, Killer's been awesome. Big part of why we won last night, drawing that penalty the way he did. We'll take two more questions, front right, Jeff. I know every player's different, their own guy, but is there any of a Barclay Goudreau you see in Nick Paul? In terms of the style and in terms of kind of the no, I I can't. That'd be hard for me to compare. Um, it, it, everybody's unique in their in their own ways. Um, if I was gonna say one thing, maybe they're both winners. You know, Goody's a winner. In, in the short time I've had Paul, clearly he's a winner. They do big things at big moments. I've seen Goody do it. Um, just look at the pass he makes to Coleman. You know, at the last second, you look at the goals Paul scored in game seven. Um, so I guess in a short answer, right off the cuff, those are things that come to mind. They're both winners, and you like to have both on your team. Last question, front left. John, there's been a lot of talk in the playoffs about how it's kind of hard to carry momentum from game to game, and um, I'm just curious what your thoughts are on that. And with a big win like last night, kind of the dramatic win that you've been a part of a lot in the playoffs, is that win any different? Is it kind of lift the team a little bit more, or is it just next game? I think, I mean, those are questions I guess you ask after tomorrow night's game, so you see what happens. But I, there's momentum in playoffs. I, I think, though, they, it goes like with series. So look at the Rangers. Like, they've built... You know, they fell behind in series and then built momentum, and their team has gotten better as series have gone on. I think it's no different than us. Like, we kind of fumbled around in the first few games of the Toronto series, but I thought our game slowly got better, and then we carried that on, the momentum, into the Florida series. I, whatever. We had a, there was a 10-day day layoff, so it can be debated now that we went 0-2 that was part of it. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but you know we have to get our momentum back. I think to the question earlier, my answer was, when did things start to click? They started to click for us halfway through the second period of game two, and we've now kept that going. Uh, we had to stop the Rangers' roll, and hopefully that goal with 48 seconds put a little pin in their bubble. I don't. I suspect they're going to come out just as they always have in this playoffs because they're a great team. But you know, it, for me, it's gone from series and watching teams get better as opposed to like game to game.